it's Allie from Sewing Machine Fun, and today I got my Singer Heavy Duty uh, sewing machine, the Singer 4423, in the mail today. And I'm really excited to have a heavy duty sewing machine now. This will be my first heavy duty sewing machine. I've sewn on the Brother CS6000i for, gosh, probably like five years now. I have a Brother SE625 sewing and embroidery machine. My daughter has a Singer Start 1304, and then I've had a few, you know, other sewing machines before, but this is the first one that's a dedicated heavy duty sewing machine. Uh, my other sewing machines work okay for, you know, some thick um, fabrics, but I'm really looking forward to being so like lots of layers of denim and canvas and um, leather, vinyl, lots of options like that. So I wanted to open the box with y'all here to kind of show you what comes in the box with the Senior 4423. So it is open, so bear with me as I get everything out. Of course we have all sorts of manuals, which I'll show you in just a moment. And this is a big old sewing machine. Oh my goodness. I have to definitely clear a much larger space in my sewing corner in order to fit this one. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. Okay, here is the dust cover. So that's what's gonna cover it and keep dust from getting into it and keep my children from touching it. And then here are some important safety instructions. And then some more information from Singer, the registration so that you can get the warranty for your sewing machine. Here are the quick start guide. It looks like it's going to show you how to prepare the machine and bobbin thread and then how it is going to thread the top thread to get everything set up. Okay, and I chose this machine, um, you know, over some of the others just because it was a little bit more affordable than some of the fancier ones. It also still had the automatic needle threader and I didn't really need too much fancy stuff on a heavy duty machine since I do have the, you know, other machines. So I just kind of wanted the automatic needle thread because I thought that would be a big time saver because it is on my other one. So this machine is really heavy compared to my other one. So it has that metal interior to keep it still while it's sewing. I have it, it sews at 1,100 stitches per minute, which is faster than the 850 max and 710 max on my other two machines. So it's these exciting to be able to do things really fast also. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So first of all, that looks like the foot pedal and the, um, the cord. Now we can go ahead and plug that in in a moment. And then they have the bobbin thread on the, um, the spool pin right there. Okay. And then that's just, I guess, to protect everything. So let's see what we have here. And this should come out somehow. Sometimes I have a hard time doing these. Okay, great. And then where are those accessories? So here is that removable um, kind of compartment that allows for this built-in free arm right there. And so that built-in free arm allows you to sew small tubular items such as sleeves, cuffs, um, legs of children's clothes. Um, so yeah, you just kind of put anything around it. And then this is a nice steel surface, which is really cool. That should make things slide really well. And then here's how we put our presser foot up. It does have that extra high presser foot left. If you're going to be sewing thick layers, it seems like it'll be really cool to have that, you know, you know extra, um, you have the ability to get thicker layers easily underneath there. Let's take that out. There is that clear bobbin. It is a top drop bobbin, which I personally like a lot based on just personal experience with it. I don't like the front load bobbins as much and that's just kind of a personal preference. So here are all the stitches. It does come with a decent amount of stitches and you know, enough that I need on a heavy duty sewing machine. We have the buttonhole, um, some of the decorative stitches, the other utility stitches, scallop, um, zigzag, kind of everything I need. Looks like blind hem. Um, Here's how to change the length of the stitches right here. And then here's how to change that width of the stitches. It does give you a lot of stitch functions when you 
take into account all of this. Here's the needle position changer right here. And then here's how to adjust that thread tension. So it looks like this is thread fairly similar to uh, other, you know, Singer sewing machines. It's going to come through here, go on down through these take-up levers. I like the Singer sewing machines and the Brothers too, for that matter, just because they show you how to um, how to throw the sewing machine with, you know, information on here and how to wind the bobbin. Here's that little right there and right here, just those little diagrams to show you how to go ahead and wind that bobbin. And then one, two, three, or five right here. And we'll say three, four, five, six, and then how to thread the machine. And then needle. There is an automatic needle threader. It's taped right now, so I won't tape it quite yet to show y'all. And then kind of allow for the buttonhole back there. Um, anything else I'm missing on the front? Oh, and there's that hand wheel right here to allow you to advance the sewing machine manually if you want to, or to, you know, bring that needle back up. Okay. Here is the buttonhole foot. So it is an automatic one set buttonhole, which is really convenient to be able to do that automatically will size your buttonholes and um, stitch it for you by just putting your button in there. Now let's see what else comes in here. Oh, and I forgot on the back, um, there is a little thing right here and that'll drop your feed dogs for you. You want to do any sort of free motion quilting or anything like that that requires those feed dogs to be dropped. Nope, there's that bigger top for the spools. Um, some needles right here, a couple 9014 needles for those heavyweight fabrics for the heavy duty sewing machine. And so, you know, the sewing machine can also sew thinner fabrics too. You just need to adjust things. You can adjust the presser foot pressure. That way you can get. Um, you know, thin, thick fabrics. It can work as an everyday sewing machine. Um, there's our guide right there. There's a couple more empty plastic bobbins here. I love to have hundreds of bobbins around that already have all my colors of thread on them. It is no fun to have to under the sewing machine. Um, when you're changing colors for the bobbin, you have to, you know, set one up again. It's just easier to have them around. So here's our little button sewing or button fitting foot. These are convenient to have around just to kind of help you um, sew on a button without you having to do it manually. Oh, it's not too hard. And then here we go. Um, here is the brush to clean out um, wherever you want to really, but to kind of clean the sewing workspace right here to get some of the dust bunnies out. The other side is a seam ripper because um, if you sew, you probably make mistakes like me. And so you occasionally have to remove seams or open button holes or you know, remove stitches that aren't mistakes, but I use mine most for mistakes, unfortunately. And let's see what else we have. Oh, this is for if you want to do some sort of twin needle functionality. It looks like you can put that other spool of thread right there and allow you to do twin needle. Here is a nice zipper foot. And so the zipper foot's going to allow you to attach a zipper. You can do all sorts of other things um, with the zipper too. It just lets you, you know, kind of sew um, to one side and holds things down really well. So there we go. And then... This right here is for our workspace. And then here are, looks like just one. I thought it came with two, but apparently it only has one in here. Just little felt, um, felt caps for the spools. And so here, yeah, basically is my Singer 4423 sewing machine. I'm really excited to get started after I've sewed on it for a while and post a review. Um, probably post a few tutorials on how to thread the sewing machine, how to work the sewing machine, how to sew some certain fabrics after I master it. Definitely going to play around a little bit first and then go from there. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing what was inside the Singer um, 4423 sewing machine.